Kevin Coughlin, age 36 and in good health, wakes up one morning in February 1997 and cannot read his newspaper. Even the board headlines are fuzzy. I knew deep down that there was something seriously wrong with my vision, but I just was not, was not going to go there. Within five days, Kevin is blind. Kevin has no idea he has been carrying a rare genetic disorder, Leber's hereditary optic neuropathy. I had just come from the neuro-ophthalmologist and uh, I asked him point blank if I could get my sight back and uh, he was silent and the that, that pause, that silence gave me my answer. The tragedy of his sudden blindness is exacerbated by the fact that Kevin is a serious amateur photographer and lover of the visual arts. Every aspect of his life fades into unbearable darkness. His already heavy drinking intensifies. His anger at his blindness causes him to explode at almost anything and anyone that crosses his path. He loses his partner, his job, his will to go on. There, there really aren't words to, to hold the enormity of the loss I was feeling at that time. And whenever the pain, the loss or the anger would start to come up, I would just grab that bottle of vodka as he grapples with his life, Kevin finds hope in a woman named Faith and his first guide dog, Ruger. Together, they bring him back from the edge. Now sober, Kevin learns to wrap the arms of compassion around himself. And it is thanks to his much-loved guide dog that he finds a way to share that compassion with others. One spring day, I went to a coffee shop in the West Village with a few friends, and we're standing at the counter, and uh, the, the person behind the counter says, no dogs. I immediately say, it's a guide dog. She just keeps saying, no dogs, no dogs. And I felt if I was being treated this way, you know, I just can't imagine how you know, other disabled people are treated. Kevin's campaign for the rights of the disabled grabs the attention of CBS. CNN, News 11, NBC, and the New York Times. He becomes an activist for the blind as only a person who wants that eyesight can. There was a bittersweet celebration when Ruger finally had to retire. But Kevin's profound loss is eased by Elias, a gorgeous black lab whose own serene nature helps Kevin look deeper inside himself. And then the miracle happens. Without explanation or medical intervention, Kevin's eyesight starts to return. One night in August of 2013, I got up to go to the bathroom and was startled when I looked and I could see a beam of light coming off my medicine cabinet mirror. And this is after not having seen anything for 16 years. I progressively saw, slowly saw more shadows and then progressively more shapes. And the return of Kevin's sight is proclaimed a miracle by news organizations all across the globe. It is certainly the only known case of its kind in the world. When asked by a reporter, what was the best thing he had seen so far? Kevin's answer was without hesitation. <laughs> <laughs>